Are you taking a little cat nap while I clean? Huh? You like your little hammock? Yeah? Yeah. It's a nice little hammock, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to finish cleaning the floors. You take a little cat nap. <laughs> You're so silly. You fit right in with the silly boys. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Hi guys, look at this. You can see the grass again. <laughs> All the snow, well, most of the snow is melted. Um, there's a little bit on the back porch, but all the snow has melted. Excuse my phone dinging. Um, but don't you worry. It's Michigan. We'll have plenty of snow here soon. <laughs> yes, we will. Most of the boys are outside. I think four of the boys are outside. I think these are the only two inside. Yes, yeah, let's go see what the other boys are doing. Oh, I've just been busy cleaning. I got a bag of donations there. I need to take to the Salvation Army. I've been decorating, you guys. I've been decorating. <laughs> yes, I have. And then I, over here in my window, I have one of my, well, I can't see it real good. It's backlit because of the window. My, here we go. Schnauzer items from John. And then the other one over here, the basket of Schnauzers, yes. It's very um, warm today. It's 42. I know that don't probably sound warm to, let me turn my ringer off on my phone. That's me walking in front of some cameras. I told you guys I installed some security cameras and that's me. Notification that there's some movement. <laughs> yeah, so these guys have been enjoying being outside today. See, there's still snow um, on the deck and a little bit in the yard where it stays shaded most of the day. Look at that, look at me. Can you guys see Magnum? He was just staring at me like, what are you doing, Mom? <laughs> Silly dogs. Yes, they haven't been enjoying these warmer days, but I'm about to um, clean underneath our tree. We bought a new tree for the new house. And, um, now this is not my schnauzer tree. This is just our regular tree. Let me go back over this way because it's the lighting in here from the windows. Um, this is not the schnauzer tree. This is the one we have out in the main family area. Um, I had asked you guys for some ideas on keeping my tree from toppling over <laughs> because of Merlin. Um, and I'm about to clean up. Um, when we bought this tree, I didn't realize it was full of glitter. I thought it just had like little plastic on the ends to look like crystals, but on the plastic there, you can see there's glitter everywhere. I didn't notice that um, when we were in Home Depot looking at this tree. I just thought, oh my God, it's so pretty. I want it. <laughs> so I didn't really pay close attention, but as you can see here, caught uh, Merlin in the tree when I was getting, I was curling my hair, came out to noise and a bulb rolling across um, the floor out to the hallway <laughs> and glitter all over Magnum's face. So I know that Mer they were playing under this tree. So there's glitter everywhere. So I'm about to take the tree skirt off shake the glitter off and sweep it up. So I wanted to show you, since I can't have this tree up against the wall and like um, some people have said, use some hooks, some command hooks and um, fishing line and connect it to the wall. Well, I can't do it with this tree because um, we're gonna have some shelving that's coming. I told you I was um, hoping to get some Ikea shelves to put along this wall. Well, those are coming the 21st. I don't even know what today, what is this today? So in a couple days, I think today's the 19th. I can't remember. Um, 
and I didn't want to, because if I didn't have those shelves coming, I could push it up against in the corner and then put the command hooks behind it in the corner so you couldn't see it. I could put them here, um, but I really didn't want you to see the command hooks on the wall. So I did something else and it's been working. So let me get this tree skirt off and I'll show you what I did. Look at all the glitter I just swept up. Look at that. <laughs> I told my husband that half the glitter or three-fourths of the glitter will probably have fallen off of this tree. Um, sorry for the lighting, guys. Um, will probably have fallen off of this tree um, by the time this Christmas season is over. <laughs> so in the next couple of years, there will probably be no glitter left on it. <laughs> So yeah, I gotta sweep that up. But this is what I did. Underneath there, you see these yellow um, bags. Those are bags full of salt for like putting on your sidewalks and driveway to melt the ice. Um, they, there are two 50 pound bags um, laying on the tree stand. And um, I wanted something that I could use again. Um, someone suggested bags of rice in a video I was watching, but we don't eat a lot of rice here. Um, so, and I was thinking maybe cat, cat litter, but the cat litter I purchase is Arm & Hammer Slide cat litter. I love that cat litter. And that comes in a box. It doesn't come in a bag. So I was like, I was at Family Farm and Home, saw these on sale for $7.99 a bag, and I thought, I'm getting bags of salt. <laughs> And they're heavy, very heavy. They're 50 pound bags. So if you do this, if you have a kitty and you get something heavy like this, you're going to need someone to help you um, because you got to lay on the floor and try to lift these 50 pound bags onto the tree stand without the tree stand ripping the bags open and getting uh, the salt or if you use cat litter. I was also thinking bags of sand too, but then I would never have a use for them. So it would just be a waste. So, um, so definitely have some help. Have a, um, a gentleman come help get these on your tree scene. Because I'm going to tell you, the kitty has been in this tree multiple times, halfway up the tree. Uh, he plays under there, and the boys get under there and bump the tree around. This tree has not moved. Um, except for a little wiggle when he gets up in the middle, it does not move. It, it, um, these bags of salt are doing the job. <laughs> I also bought um, shatterproof ornaments. So these are all new ornaments. Um, they had them on sale at Hobby Lobby and they had like a big giant tube of them on sale at Michael's for like 15 bucks. So I bought all new ornaments um, and they're really pretty. Um, really pretty, even though they're plastic. But like I said, one went rolling down the uh, floor here and I saw it end up in the hallway when I was doing my hair. That's how I knew they were playing in the tree. Um, they won't break. So uh, yeah, this has been working out well since I can't tie it to the um, wall. So just a quick tip for any of you that have kitties, just put something really heavy on your tree stand. So. Yeah, this was a lot of work getting this tree um, fluffed out, decorated, and I know a lot of you are gonna say, Kim, it's not even December yet. <laughs> I don't like to wait till December. I usually wait the weekend before Thanksgiving to put up my tree, but Thanksgiving is so late this year. So I just said, when we bought the tree, my son uh, set it up and I said, I'm just getting some decoration out. So I did the um, fireplace here too. And let me get a close up. Got some little twinkle lights um, on the fireplace too. I was thinking about garland, lit garland, but um, I like the twinkle lights. And they're on a timer so they click on at a certain time and then they turn off um, six hours later. So I really like them. I've never purchased them before. I have that sign there and then over here on the table, I have this table runner that I found that I totally forgot I even bought last year um, after Christmas sales. <laughs> I've got these cute little reindeer tea light holders, this little tree, um, and then over here on the buffet I have the little red truck, and these little trees have the um, little twinkle lights in them too. I need to get some wax melts for my wax warmer there. So, 
Yeah, so let me see if these boys want in. I got a couple packages in the mail. One from John and one from Emily. Oh, there's Milo over there. I don't know where the other boys are. They must be over in the corner. So let me let them in and I want to share those packages with you. All right, guys, I want to share with you what John sent and what Emily sent. So John sent a box, uh, a, a 12, it's a set of 12 schnauzer ornaments. And everything that um, John has sent me is from the Danbury Mint. I don't know if you can get them anymore. I know some of them are, um, they only make so many and then you can't get them anymore. Um, but you might be able to find some of them on eBay. Someone told me they found them, the, the couple items he sent, but I'm not sure about these. So this is a 12 piece set of Schnauzer ornaments. So I want to show you them. Let me open it up here. So the first one is this Schnauzer Angel. And someone, a couple of people actually said if the um, angel wings represent Schnauzers who have passed, I should still put them on my tree to represent any of you who have lost a Schnauzer. And that's what I'm going to do. These will be this one. And then the one my husband bought will be for any of you who may have lost a Schnauzer in the past. So. There's that one there. And then here's this one here. They have names on them. I should have grabbed my, um, I should have grabbed my glasses. What is this one called? S Swinging on a star. And there's this one. I gotta get my schnauzer tree set up, guys. And there's this one here. I just wanna get um, the rest of the boys groomed. I still, I still have four boys to go. I have four boys to go to get groomed. And um, I'm making myself have to do that before I can put up my schnauzer tree. Putting up my schnauzer tree will be a reward to get myself to stop procrastinating <laughs> so I can put up my schnauzer tree. I'm hoping after I film this video, I can get two of the boys done today and then um, two the next day. These are all so cute. And I thank you again so much, John. He said, there's one more package coming. Uh, next week. These are all so beautiful. Okay, four more. Schnells are in a wreath. I think this was sold as a set. I'm not totally for sure, but I think it was sold as a set. Last one, this one here. They're all so pretty. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so, so much. Okay, now for Emily's gift to Mozzie. She sent him a birthday gift. Um, I opened it, but I didn't show Mozzie anything in it yet. Let me get the card. Here's the front of the card. And it says, Mozzie, hope this one outshines them all. Happy birthday, Emily and Lily. Emily is like the boy's godmother, like the dog mother. <laughs> she always sends them little gifts all the time. I thank you so much, Emily. You're so sweet. Um, okay, this is what she sent Mozzie. She sent him this... Um, says feel me oh there's rope inside of it see right here it says feel me it looks like a skeleton <laughs> but there's rope inside there so it says kong wild knots <laughs> of course it has a squeaker in it so he's gonna love this um and then she also sent him 
I'm sure the other boys will share in these treats. Some grain-free biscuits from Blue Wilderness. Uh, these are, oh, what kind are these? It doesn't say, it doesn't say a flavor or anything, or I'm missing it. The grain-free biscuits. So let's see, let's give them one. Yeah, it doesn't see a flavor on it. Let's see if I can tell if I sniff them. Let's see, Mozzie gets the first one. Yes. Oh, can't tell, just grain free. Okay, here you go, Maz. Here you go, Magnum. Oh, here comes the kitty. I usually put the kitty away when I give him treats. I totally forgot. He tries to get up in their business. Kitty. <laughs> Thank God my boys don't try to attack him, but I'm always worried that they may. Totally forgot about you, Merlin. Yes, I did. <laughs> He's trying to get down. He's like, let me go see what they're eating. Sorry for the weird lighting, guys. This house is very hard to film in. So look, let me see what they're eating, Mom. Let me see. <laughs> I've been having a problem with Merlin um, getting in my sink. Um, I have to make sure he's in his kitty condo when I'm cooking dinner. If we all get our food and then go sit down to the table to eat, he will get try to get on the counter and get the food. So he's got to get in his kitty condo. Um, I've been researching the scat mats um, to maybe lay on my counters. I don't know, but I've been having um, a pretty big problem trying to keep him off my counters when there's food or dirty dishes in the sink. So, yeah. So I'm dealing with that right now with Merlin. All right, and then she also sent some Wagmore Bark Less, oh, there's a piece of popcorn, dog treats. These are crunchy peanut butter. So they're gonna love these. I'm not gonna give them right, one right now. Um, that's enough treats, because I gotta feed them their lunch. <laughs> yes, I do. So thank you so much, Emily. And I'll have to get um, the uh, toy taken off the packaging so he can play with his toy later. Okay, so um, that's all I got for you today. Um, again, sorry about the lighting going in and out because uh, the sun is going in and out outside. <laughs> and this house has big windows, as you know, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time. And my camera likes to go in and out with the light, so I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to get going. I'm going to feed them their lunch, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You want your toy from Emily? Huh? <laughs> I have the other boys outside so Mozzie can play with his toy without them trying to get it from him. Here you go. There's your toy from Emily. Yes. Yeah, the other boys would try to take it from him, so I let Mozzie in first from the potty break so he could have it and get his slobber all over it. <laughs> Thanks again so much, Emily. I also wanted to say thank you for um, uh, someone donated to my PayPal for vet bills. They wanted it to remain anonymous, but I thank you so much. And I also wanted to say thank you to Lisa, who I keep forgetting to say thank you to, for pledging $5 on our Patreon. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate you all very, very much. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.